now he's consistently playing people like Sky, like Breach, like Phoenix. He's playing Flashers. He, he seems to be doing pretty well with it. Oh, Zoms. Zoms and Seth, they just pass right by each other. Seth, yep, he was able to get one, but Zoms was there. He spotted it, he cleaned it up, but the damage was done. Sinatra is able to get one as well as Profi drops. The spike, however, is going to make its way over onto A. It was, it was yep. just a distraction over towards B. They've pulled the string. That's where they're headed. Indeed, they are. They are walking their way. And we do see that Zoms has rotated back over here towards the A-Raptor's position. He gets here just in time to stuff the spike at the main area. Only one left now. Or two left, rather, for Space Station. The Inksy being one of them. He's able to get one, but Sick is very quick to slide into position to stop that from going any further. Now it's all on Roka on the Reina. Does have the Sheriff in play. Again, we know that he can pop off a time or two. Can he do it here? It's the question. He's missing a couple of shots in Sinatra. Sam trying to find something there with the Sheriff, but it's going to get bounced off. Now the Viper Wall's in play. And, and, and look, like, Zoms is not, he still hasn't rotated at this point. That's how much Sentinels are respecting the rotate. The spike, however, has, has gone down. It has been planted. Now they're going to start to pull over. Sinatra with the Stinger. Had a chance at one, but it was, or it didn't, excuse me, Busio was able to get that pick. Sinatra spots one more, lands a shot, Inski's taken out. It's a 4v2, still in favor of Space Station, make that one. And it's Zoms, who is playing on the opposite side. The majority of the round, severely outnumbered here. He's going to drop Space Station Cypher. Oh, absolutely. That's a great use of gears to basically thwart Shazam's attempts to hold the line with the operator. Oh. But as he gets on top of the site, he's still able to deliver with that weapon. Maybe not the way that you wanted to early, but he's coming in late. Ooh. And now the classic as well, a part of it. A hat trick for him. Tries for a fourth, but Bustio is there. And he's gotten a couple of big kills now all on Bustio versus Sick. Bustio hiding inside the smoke. Oh, no they walk right past each other. It's coming down to no this way. and Bustio. He's able to get it done in the end, but that's well towards attacking spawn. But now Long B is just being charged forward by Sentinels, and Seth Ooh. catches Sinatra in middle, being that lurker, able to pick up on that push and punish them for it. And again, a very different look. This time he worked his way up mid. Yeah, he eventually drops, but now it's on Space Station. They have four ults to work with to decide how they want to go about this. I say four, but of course, Bustio drops at the same time, so the Blade Storm is not an option. Meanwhile, the Hunter's Fury has been used by Profi. Not gonna get anything. And keep a close eye on Sick. Oh my gosh, Sick had a chance to really blow that up on the flank, but he drops, and that's gonna allow Space Station to rotate out. It does, but there is player in position at Roger. It's gonna be Zombs, oh, and now the mid-rotation even being cut off by Dapper here, playing under the two. Oh, no, not at all, but now he's starting to kind of realize what's up here. Pressure is really starting to come in right now. Lucio's been looking for something on those daggers for ages, but he just could never could find it. Zom's cut off a couple of big kills. Just am now pitching in as well. Spike might get planted. Never mind. So not just slides in, not allowing that to go through. All on Roka now. Just not much you can do with the Sheriff in a one versus four. He's already chipped away at as well severely. And yes, yeah, Sinatra will finish things. So, Sentinels best heavily here. You just get suffocated if you don't move quickly enough. Oh, big miss there from Shazam. Profi finds a nice frag that starts opening up this B side a little bit better here as they now anchor that yellow position and start pressing the spike forward with their Viper. There is still one defender in the bottom of the side. It's going to be Sinatra, who already found one kill up close on Long B, but he's going to get banged down to 7 HP through the wall as we have a 4 on 4 retake ahead of us. Again, keep an eye on where the players are set up on your mini map. You, you really, you've got them boxed in, and when you put them in a corner, how does Space Station respond? They've been able to drop things down to a 3v3. Yeah. And continues to take away. Roka with one, trying to shoot through the smoke, has spotted another player, trying to buy time. He is able to oh. take care of Zoms as well. Absolutely filthy, a 3v1 here in favor of Space Station. The clock continues to tick away. Sick doesn't look like he wants any of the heat, and he's getting the heck out. Yeah, he had a bit of a flank go in there. We actually found a kill, but when Sinatra went down and the rest of his teammates started to fall, he really couldn't set that flank in the way he wanted to. And so thanks to Roka's Empress and his individual efforts, he gets a couple of big kills to close that thing out. A ton as far as artillery, as far as firepower goes. So we'll see what they can make happen. Zoms spots a couple of players. He's up to paranoia, swings with it. Banana Swarm's there to push him back just a bit, but Sick shows up as well. And if it's not Zoms, if it's not Sick, it's Shazam with the Operator who gets the best of Poppy. Here's the Viper's Pit that we've been talking about for a little while. Uh, it's finally going to be used, but he drops. Uh, and it's, it's no longer a factor. You see the lockdown is to use as well. It's just one left on the side of Space Station. 
and he's not firing through. They're clicking. We haven't seen B-Long in a little while, and we're back to it, and it seems to be going even so far. Sinatra drops down, uses the Roomba as well to get the bead on a player, but Roka trades it out. He's still up top, still alive, but has been tagged up. He's going to drop back, heal up a bit. Some of the, the most frustrating utility uh, that's, that's in the game is, is Reyna's ability to do just that. And she continues. Roka has three on the round, looking for more, has the Empress. Looks oh like my. he's going to sit on it for not able to get the fifth as Dapper gets the best of him. Now Dapper with 30 health in a 1v2. Spike uh -oh. is going to start to go down. Seth gets the best of them all. They have in their back pockets here on the attack. Okay. Bit of some early in the utility usage. Try to clear out some space. Try to make some room so that they can work. There's the paranoia coming out. You see the paint cans have been used as well to try to clear out the corner. Sinatra able to get one with utility. Yeah, great use of Six Hound and the paranoia to really put the pressure on the left side of A site towards screen and open up space for Sinatra and company to really strike onto the site itself, including getting the spike planted, and now they have a four-on-three post plan ahead of them. Now, Inski from up top might have a chance to get something going from Rafters. No, he's not able to land the shots onto Dapper. Zoms gets the best of Bustio. Space Station just down to Seth. The Cloud Burr, the wiser to it. They're able to take care of him, get on to B in really effortless fashion. Oh, yeah. oh. Oh, that's not the place you want to be reloading, Sinatra. <laughs> that is... Oh. Open season for Roka! He's found another one! This is getting spicy, dog. Will it go all the way? He's got the Leers, trying to create some room, trying to get more aggressive here. They have opportunities. Roka Whoa. gets another one. That's three on the round with the Sheriff. Pustio gets one as well. Just down to one. It's Dapper. Dapper with the Bulldog. Able to get two. 17 health. Oh. Oh, holy smokes! Dapper with the shots! That was nasty! Gonna be bringing... Not a whole lot <laughs> into this next <laughs> round. Pistols uh, across the board, and well, that opening goes about as well as you would expect. Shazam gets the opener. They're gonna push very aggressively. Sinatra blasts all the way across. Cheeky little spot there. He's gonna get tagged up. Still hits the sucker punch as he gets all the way back oh. into the site. Yes, yeah, Seth with the frenzy, able to take care of him. A 3v2 still in favor of Sentence. Oh, Winsky well, stops the spike plant all of a sudden, but okay, Zons and Dapper tagged right at the very last moment. We'll see whether Sentinels goes hunting. They know that two were tagged up. Not enough time to get back into spawn. Zomps was the only one who got close. But Space Station still have a chance here. Nice shots out of Bustio. That's certainly what you need at least to get the ball rolling. But there are still three members of Sentinels left. The clock continues to tick away. Has a good shot. Delivers it. There's a Blades room that we talked about early on. Goes in aggressively. Dashes his way across. Bustio already with three, but sick! Oh, sick! Gets two! Give him the third! He is keeping Sentinels in this thing. It's gonna go drop down to a 1v1. As he waits to see if anyone's gonna rotate over Profi. Profi has a chance here, but Sick has the luxury of waiting it out. A 4k for Sick. Sentinels get... Oh, such a great space-grabbing tool there for Sentinels. Now they have full control of B-Site. They still have... Zom's behind though, alone with the spike. That could have been a problem, but he does get the kill on the Inski, and now he's able to shuffle it over. And they have a three on two. Roka swinging low. As the spike starts to go down, Zom's has managed to pull that off. Roka's still kind of playing around the smoke. Seth's, Seth was able to take care of Sinatra, drop things down to a 2v2. Again, Space Station does have the lockdown to create some space depending on how they want to play it. And there it is, like clockwork, it has been used. They're going to use One the ability as well. Zoms takes care of Roka, it's just down to Seth. Seth swinging around. He might get a chance on this thing, but he's got to be careful if it's bait. He gets one. It's going to drop things down to a 1v1. Seth up against Shazam. Shazam's up top. He knows exactly where he is. Tries to tap it again, force him to bait him out. Seth gets the shot. Seth gets the third, but is he going to get the defuse? It's close. I think he's got it. One of the best that NA has to offer. Sentinels have managed to get their way up towards A. They flashed everything out. They've smoked everything out. It was an aggressive push from Space Station, Space Station on the western side of the map, but nobody was home. Indeed, as we're going to see, most of the retake trying to funnel in through attacking spawn, but it's being cut off here up close at long and up close at sewers from Zombs and company. But Profi actually breaks through with a couple of kills with the Frenzy, but still Space Station find themselves a man behind when it's all said and done. One of them's been tagged as well by the Dart, giving some extra information over to 
Sentinel as they try to hold. Seth trying to push to buy time for his teammate to be fully committed just yet. Now Shazam's really starting to take more of a wider angle and really start putting space. They're going to try to pressure Garage. They're going to probably have the flash commit, but that that is really the counter Yikes. to most Garage pushes. But Six says, nah, I'll be taking this for ourselves. They smoke up the window. There'll be a heal from Sick. Now he'll be able to charge back in with his long C players. Ooh. A split, but oh my goodness, Space Agent in the blink of an eye make this thing interesting. Now it's all on just one remaining player. It's Zoms. Stuck here at long C. There is one player weak on the side of Space Station, but and, and he's got the classic. Okay, he's able to take Hiroka. Still sticking with the classic. With a gap there, but not going to get abused by any means. The spike will go down, so 5 5 retake. And this is a, so this is slightly different from what we saw earlier, but this is actually very reminiscent of how ba uh, Built by Gamers likes to play this. They don't just get the plant down and then back up and play their flanks. They decide to commit to it and go in aggressively. They have two players that are in back on. You see some of the resources of Space Station start to pinch in through the links, but Link Sick gets punished. There's the buggy that's making the difference, but it doesn't hit quite enough. Two players have been traded out. Space Station just down to one. And it's Seth. Seth's not going to be around long enough to make it a significant difference there as Sentinel's take a two-round lead. Drone. And this may allow them to rotate a little bit more freely to reinforce a side here very shortly. Yeah, or at least understand that that's where the hit is. And sure enough, the paranoia comes out just at the right time. But there was no follow-up. Seth is yeah. still up in heaven, so he's got a chance to make something. There's that spot that we were talking about earlier. It's such a common plant spot now that the Hunter Fury is just able to line it up. Yeah, the spike goes down, but, sick, but he manages to get the kill onto Sick anyway. Yeah, this is going to be tough now for Sentinels to hold. They are a man down. They are all basically playing from long A position, except for their Cypher, who's towards sewers. And there is a flank from Profi coming in that's pressuring them. And just him being here bothers Sentinel so much. Yeah, but what can they do with it? Shazam is still checking that corner. You see the defuse has started. The paranoia comes out to buy some time. Boosty was able to get one. Shazam gets leered up, but he tries to go in anyway. Sinatra gets taken out. Shazam on the flank, not able to land the shots. He gets cleaned up. Oh, it's 1v1 here is Dapper. Looking to swing, but there's just not enough time. There's not enough time for him to do anything with it. They're going to have to get out. Sentinels is going to take a three-round lead. That was so smart from Sentinels to understand all the way in. I mean, he's just a checkmate. Just waiting to strike. Oh, here's his chance. He's going to strike. He swings. Beautiful shots onto Profi. A devastating spot to be in. Of course, Space Station timing. Dapper looking oh, okay. for a second. The, I, he was certainly weak. But that frenzy getting the best of him there. Now Sick again in a position of power. He's going to get pushed back. However, uses are in the back, knows that there's going to be aggression coming this way. He's going to swing, flash, and actually gets out. Stays alive. Roka looking to follow suit. Zoms drops. He's going to drop things down to a 1v1. Sinatra up against Roka. The fragger from Space Station gets the shots with the Sheriff. A 3k. Can he get the defuse? Oh, yeah. He's going to have time There's... for days. Oh, yeah. He's up here. No. Oh, well. Man, that's just so frustrating. The cage was up, but Profi's able to get the shots anyway. Shazam showing that the blades were exactly what he needed. He didn't need a whole lot more, but he's going to get traded out at the hands of Profi. You see the smoke starting to go out as they try to work their way onto the site. But again, Profi continuing to anchor things. He's got three on the round. Roka gets one as well. The light buy from Sentinels. Just not enough here, as it seems like Space Station is going to be able to put up another round. Yeah. They're costly, the Profi drops. They're not going to be able to use the Hunter's Fury really as a, as a wrinkle here to close out the half. But we'll see. What does Space Station have? As you mentioned, they have ults. There's one of them being used. Roka the Fragger, the Star Fragger for Space Station, bringing that into the fold already. They, you see them starting to posture up and set up a little something. There's the paranoia that goes out, clears things out in hell, but it's traded in kind, and that's significantly more effective as they tag people up. And because of that, they're not able to push in. But there you see the From the Shadows being used as he tries to get onto the side. He's committed. Zom's drops. Bustio's able to get three. Inski gets one as well. Sinatra just down to a 1v2. Gets one, gets the second. They clutch it out. They take Sentinels. Is it? Both of their sides are statistically very good. Zoms, Zoms gets a chance at one, looking for the second, not able to get it. Bustio trades it out, but that's that's going to raise the alarms. They know exactly what they need at this point, is they're going to funnel all of their resources towards A because that's where the hit's going to be. Yeah, they're already basically in position. The smoke's still kind of blocking some vision on the low side, but they're still able to swing out here. But Bustio and Profi winning their duels. Dapper gets one back, including the spike carrier, but 
It's still all up to him in the end. He has no idea one player is already to its close right. That's going to be Profi with the Frenzy. But then if you want to come back in this map and ultimately the series. I have an interesting stat for you in just a moment. Remind me, we'll come back to it. Okay. Sentinels with the numbers advantage. The Spikes waiting back. They haven't committed onto a site, but they're certainly making all sorts of noise and creating so much space on the site. But hey, it's just Sentinels is able to just mow them down. It was flawless from Sentinels. Yeah. At least for now. Space Station down three rounds on the attacking side, trying to get something going here as they've kept it competitive. But my gosh, what? There's just, they're just being picked apart left and right. Yeah, this is, uh, you're starting to see that snowball roll down the hill and build up into more of a boulder. As they are just pouncing all across the map, everything going their way. Space Station seemed like a deer in the headlights in this round. And it's start suffocating them right now. They, I mean, they really are like a python surrounding its prey and getting tighter and tighter to suffocate things out. That's exactly what they're doing. Look at how they've postured around each other. The one thing worth noting is take a look at where Cypher has yes. made his way up for a Profi with the Hunter Siri trying to create some noise, clear out some space. But Zoms again, Zoms has been here on the anchor the entire time. Mm -hmm. See if he gets anything going. There's smoke understanding by process of elimination. That there's not a whole lot here, but Zoms' position has been given away. He's been shot in the back. That's going to give them access onto A. The neural theft is there as well. Space Station have a chance here. Indeed, that was a big play from Seth creeping through sewers, getting around Zoms, getting the kill, getting the neural theft to confirm that they could get in here safely. They had the mana advantage as well. It's not this retake. We do see Six trying just to fly through with speed, but he gets caught by Profi. Profi good for two, in fact. His amp has been darted. And they know exactly where he is. He's pushed off heaven. The recon will confirm that. And they have a player sitting here and wait for him to swing around this corner. It's going to be Roka putting it right between his eyes. Great. Oh, this is getting a little bit dicey. This is indeed. You see Sentinel slowly start to creep forward as the spike did as well. But of course, as that happens, they pull off. It looked like Seth wanted to create some room over by B. But no, it was Sick who is waiting with warm, welcoming arms to stop that initial push. But it looks like the spike wants to go over there anyway as chaos continues to ensue on the C site. Inski trying to reposition his way as sent his space station, oh. excuse me, have control of B, but it looks like they have control of C as well. So that's where they want to go. Profi now finally decides, all right, we're not even going to try to get in there. Let's go ahead and get the spike down on B. Yeah, they dash past the Sam. He tries to switch work towards sewers and long. They also have a recon on the A side itself that they're using. They have spotted out Zoms, who is stuck. He's trying to teleport out of that position, though. Oh, he manages to, but the push is coming in. It's coming in hot and heavy. Great paranoia by Zoms as he and Stick are able to get a kill. A P6 switches over to the classic, not able to land the shots as Roka stays alive. But Zoms trying to hold on to the site. Trying to keep things at bay. He does it, ladies and gentlemen. Sentinels are at match point. Well, he's just running at him. He used the run it back to get some info. Yep. He got some. Yeah. No kill straight. He at least knows it wasn't an early alien, right? He knows it's like, oh, this is more of a default. But Roka, Jeez. big entry there on Shazam. Showing you his might once more. We saw plenty of it on Icebox and plenty of it throughout his career in Valorant. And now he's shown up here with a big one on Hades. He's had kind of a quiet game overall, though, to be fair. But now maybe that's the spark he needed to really light the fire under his opposition as he's trying to... Maybe pry open B-side a bit here. The smoke, though, is going to kind of slow down that pace, at least for now. Zoms will tuck into a close angle off the back of his smoke, but now backs off as it fades. Bladestorm popped. All right, now Roka should have some time to clear. It looks like they want to go A, but it's big on Roka. If he's able to get a pick on the Lurker, he's going to have some access onto A link, but no, Dapper gets the best of them. There's a Hunter Siri coming out from Profi to try to clear out the site, but Zoms on the corner goes unchecked as he gets Seth and Bustio. It's just down to Profi, the late addition to the squad in a 1v4. He's getting pushed out. He's getting hunted. He is able to take care of Zoms, but again, they know exactly where he is as they push him back. 13 seconds left. Profi doesn't have the spike, and it's not going to matter. Sentinel's best space station 